Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all amazing. I'm in a really good mood today. I feel like it's been a little while since I've been like feeling like this, like cheery. Maybe it's because it's a Friday. I'm filming this on a Friday. I also get to see the kids tonight. They've only been at the dad's for one night, but I just can't wait for them to come home. And it's, yeah, we don't have to do the school run in the morning and we can just like all snuggle up and watch a film or something tonight. So I'm excited to pick them up later. In terms of what I'm gonna do today, I need to go food shopping. Really, really not in the mood, but it's gotta be done. I also need to just tidy the house a little bit because it's a mess. I need to do some editing. It's not exciting. I wish I had more exciting things to share with you guys, but I just have a very, very boring life. Um, yeah, nothing too exciting or crazy. I have an ASOS video to edit that's probably already gone out actually when I'm filming this. So go and watch that if, uh, if you've not seen all of my new bits from ASOS. This jumper dress is one of them which I'm loving at the moment. I'm just spending money I shouldn't on autumn bits of clothing. I went out the other day actually and just filmed a little bit in like, where did I go? Asda, which was really rubbish. I don't know why it's just the one that I went in, but I was so looking forward to seeing all of the um, Stacey Solomon range. The Asda that I was in hardly had any, but I still filmed the bits that I did see. I also went into TK Maxx next. And Tesco. Tesco had a lot of like really gorgeous things. Um, so I'm going to insert all of that footage of that because I just quickly filmed it whilst I was there. So I'll show you what I spotted. And yeah, I'll also, when I go and do the food shopping, I'll show you all of that as well that I get. I think I'm going to go Aldi today. I normally just order it from Tesco, but I really do like to go Aldi every now and again. Just need to get some nice uh, yummy bits in over the weekend kids snacks that sort of thing but before that i'm gonna have a coffee um i'm going to write a little list of things that i want to get done today i need to tidy the kitchen up a little bit a lot of bit <laughs> um put some washing in all of that stuff that just needs to be done and yeah then we'll see where we're at so with my coffee i am adding in some of my md hair marine collagen it's completely tasteless, sugar-free, and is just really good for supporting healthy hair, skin, nails, and joints. My hair is very fine and I wear tape and extensions, but I am on a real mission to make it much thicker and healthier. And MD Hair has everything I need for just that. MD Hair is the world's first medical grade hair growth treatment customized to the exact cause and type of hair loss. Their website uses a quiz and a scalp picture analysis to customize a treatment kit that is specific for your hair needs. So in my kit I got collagen, the hair wellness supplements, shampoo and conditioner and some hair care serum. I've been using these for a couple of weeks now and my hair so far is loving it. I would love to get to a point where I don't have the extensions in anymore and just have my natural hair and I have just noticed that there is a lot more volume at the roots and it is really shiny and I cannot wait to see how much my hair improves over the coming weeks. So if you want to customise your hair growth treatment with MD Hair, then you can use my promo code, which is Carly70, to get your first month of customised product at a massive 70% off. I will leave all of the information down below so you can go and have a look. And now I'm just sitting down with my coffee and I'm on to making my list. I am a bit of a procrastinator. Lists really help me to stay on track with all the things that I need to do. Um, I'm just having a very quick tidy up, like I say, with the dishwasher, putting some washing in. They are normally the first jobs on the list after the school run. And then I can sit down and get my editing done because I have this video to finish.
I'm going to insert here all of the clips of homeware that I have spotted recently. So this is Tesco. Um, absolutely gorgeous things for autumn. I love anything that's pumpkin shaped, but I resisted and I didn't buy any more because I feel like I definitely have enough. Yeah, they have got really nice things in. And I will say as well, I also went to the cafe whilst I was there and their selection um, especially like the autumn drinks and things are just incredible. I had the nicest coffee. It was like maple pecan latte or something and it was just so lovely and I had some um, waffles for breakfast, like really yummy foods. I was really pleasantly surprised. I also, whilst I was there, had a look at all of the F and F clothing. Again, really impressed. Tesco has got some amazing things in. I ended up buying some trousers from the Abby Clancy edit. Um, she's done some really lovely things with them, and I also got a grey fluffy jumper. But yeah, they have got so many nice bits in for winter and autumn. I also went in to TK Maxx and had a little look in there. There wasn't loads, I think it might be this particular TK Maxx that I went into. There wasn't loads and loads of nice things. Like normally I go in there and I'm like gasping and like, oh, look at this, look at this, but I didn't see as much in there. They obviously have all of the amazing candles and I spent a very long time um, going through them and smelling them all. But again, I didn't get any because there just wasn't one that I thought was just the one you know and there wasn't any that was like dead strong scented I want, wanted one that was like really gonna like fill the room with like a nice pumpkin spice smell but I just didn't find the one whilst I was there but they do still have lovely things in they're still sort of starting to push out the the autumn things now and I'm sure we will see all of the Christmas bits soon. I did love these little pumpkins though. I did think about getting them, but then I thought, no, I have some that are quite similar. Maybe I should just spray mine. I feel like I haven't done any little DIYs for ages and I kind of miss it. I do love a little craft. So I might have to get some spray paints and start doing a little bit of DIYing soon. There was just this little bit of Christmas that I spotted. I love that little sleigh. How nice would that be for just like putting some presents and things on under the tree? Then into next and I love, love, love their homeware. But I don't love the prices. I do find next quite expensive. But these bits that they have in for autumn are just gorgeous. Um, I really liked the couple of mugs. This is so cute, isn't it? As well, this little witch's boot that would look really cute if you've got like a porch where you could put a couple of them out the front, maybe put some plants in them or something. But yeah, they had gorgeous things, really nice style of pumpkins, and I like the sort of shade of orange that they do in all of their um, candles and casserole dishes. Like it's a really nice shade, not too orange. I love some of this, like just the homeware in general as well, not just the autumn stuff. I really like the bedspread. I love this sign that says adore the chaos. I think that's really appropriate for my house. I then had a quick look in Asda just to see what the homeware section was like but like I say there wasn't 
as much as I was hoping to find, um, like with the Stacey Solomon range, because I love everything that she's done um, for that. But I did find some of it. They have got some really nice bits in for winter as well. I love these candles. I think Asda has really good value candles. But some of the end aisles had some lovely bits from her range. And yeah, she's just done loads of gorgeous things. Um, all really my taste. And I definitely want to get some of the bedding. I think I might get some of the fluffy bedding this year when the temperature drops a little bit. Um, but yeah, really impressed with all of that. So I've just gone and done my Aldi shop. I really was not in the mood and I was quite hungry. So probably made some poor choices as well, to be honest. Yeah, just was not in the mood for it at all. It was really busy, but I got it done. Got a fair few bits. I've got stuff in the freezer as well. So I'm just trying to think of what else I will need to put for meals because I've got a lot of veg and I've got like a chicken in the freezer that I need to get out and defrost and just trying to think what meals I can put together. And I definitely, didn't go in with the plan, so I just got whatever, really. I got my usual Greek yogurt. Somebody had to help me get this, though, because it was far too high up. A very friendly, taller man got this down for me because there was no chance I could reach it. Some semi-skimmed milk. I've got some of these rouse, rouse? rice pouches. Rice pouches, yeah. Um, I really like having, like, salmon and salad with them. Got some of these because the kids love southern fried chicken. So these are just good for putting on wraps with some salad. Also got some of these southern fried chicken breast fillet burgers. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing, isn't it? And then a couple of the pizzas, which I don't think you can go wrong with an Aldi pizza. I think they're really good value and taste really nice. Got a kitchen roll because I needed some of that. One of those things that I don't realise how handy it is until I've got none left, which is what's happened this week. And I feel like I've kept thinking I could do some kitchen roll. So I've got a couple of rolls of that. I've got smoothies for the kids' pat lunches, just two different flavoured ones. I've got the Tano Shops, which I buy all the time. And I also got, because I really like these, and I love that they're individually wrapped because I chuck them in my bag all the time. The chocolate chip swirl ones as well. I really like them. I got these. Oh, I didn't even realise these were rice protein. I thought I just got the chocolate, like, pudding ones. So I've got two Muller, I didn't even think they were Muller, I thought they were those Aldi pots. I'm sure I'll like them anyway. So I've got two of these, rice protein, I'm sure that will, they will still be very nice. Some toilet wipes, I got cheese, grated cheese. I got some mozzarella somewhere as well because I'm going to make a few different things with some pastry. So I got puff pastry because I want to make some like chocolate twists or like custard twists. And then I got some pizza dough because I'm going to make some little like pizza swirls of some sort and get the kids to help me, which I think would be nice to do. Some grated mozzarella and then we'll just use like passata or like a bit of pasta sauce, like tomato sauce of some sort. So I'll create. I've got some groovy biscuits. The kids love them. Some of these for pat lunches, little baby bells, which I haven't bought for a while. Grapes, a salad. Nice bag of salad. I just sometimes find with Aldi salad that it doesn't always last that long. So hopefully it will last me a, a good few days. I've got these for Rudy, some beef strips. Um, some burger buns just for that chicken. 
These normally last quite a while as well. And wraps as well. These are obviously for that chicken again, but also just good for um, sandwiches. Dylan really likes like a ham wrap in his pat lunch. I got some meatballs and some salmon fillets because I'm just loving salmon at the minute. Like I say, I have that with rice and salad and just mix up a bit of sweet chilli and mayonnaise for like just a sauce on top of it. And I just, I, yeah, I love it. Some peppers. These I'm obsessed with as well. These takeaway biscuits. I've forgotten what they, they're a dupe of, but I'm a big fan because they've got a lot of chocolate in the middle. Like, and it's just a good amount of each um <laughs> so yeah there's five in there i thought i would get these for the kids as well and maybe i'll try a little bit as well toby won't like it but there's two small desserts in here which i thought just looked really special so you've got marshmallows cookie crumble and dark chocolate in a little ramekin so that's a bit of a fancy it's a bit like um goo gu i don't know how you say it one of those kind of desserts so that would be a nice treat for them which i'm sure they'll appreciate i got some nice sweet oranges because it's just getting to that time of year now where it's like the oranges are good they taste good this time of year it's where strawberries will start to taste not as good and the oranges will start to be nice once the now the weather's cooling down i got apple juice and orange juice for the kids pack lunches again um, always snack heavy for the kids my shopping is um some hoops for them as well and i got a few bags of sharing crisps for over the weekend for when we watch films or anything like that depends what we do this weekend i really don't know it's probably going to rain loads so we can have some snacks and probably watch a film i got some skittles for that as well some of these chew bits i always put in the kids pack lunches like i just needed to do a full snack restock for the pack lunches and everything for the week ahead um because they just eat things really quickly <laughs> um some pineapple slices i got these a couple of packs of chocolate chips as well because i want them to go in on top of this um uh, these like twists chocolate twists or chocolate custard twists that i'm gonna make so i've got a couple of bags of them i did get some strawberries not that they'll last us very long. They'll all be gone in like one sitting with the four of us. And some apples. I just got some pink ladies. I got some multigrain dino shapes because Toby and Archie really like these. And then I just got a couple of bottles of pop as well for over the weekend. Some twisted fruit zero sugar and some diet lemonade. So I'm going to have to have the fun job now of putting it all away. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do after that. take a certain somebody out but it's raining so i don't think he'll thank me for it will you oh any excuse for a little belly a little belly rub because this weather's rubbish in it rudy it's no good for walking in is it not if you're a bit of a wimpy dog that doesn't like the rain like you are when it's raining and he needs to go out like just out in the garden for a wee he 
will go to the back door, realise it's raining, and then try to pretend like he doesn't need to, and then I have to be like, go on! And then he'll just pretend to go and have a wee, and then just comes running back to the door. It takes a lot of encouragement. And in that, you end up getting wetter because you mess about standing outside. You're just silly, aren't you? I need a bath, I know that much. You stinky dog, aren't you? A little bit stinky. I could just do a video of just you, couldn't I? Look at you. You gorgeous thing. Look at your neck rolls. <laughs> Well, it's not stopped raining and I need to do the school run. Ugh, don't you just hate it, the rain? But I love it when we get back in from when it's raining because like, we'll all be grumpy walking home in it and then I'll be like, let's get pyjamas on, let's get snuggly when we get in. I can light a few candles and that when I get back and I'm going to make um, those pastry things that I mentioned and get the kids to help me with that. So hopefully they'll turn out all right. But yeah, I'm going to get soaked now. So when you next see me, I'll probably look like a drowned rat and then it'll stop as soon as I get home because that's what normally happens. Just to show my outfit, not that you can actually see it very well, hold on, just have to ignore the mess behind me. How on earth can I get me all in? There you go, you get the idea. <laughs> I love this dress, this was from ASOS. Jacket, River Island, handbag is Teddy Blake and these boots, it feels so nice to be in boots again. Um, these boots were from Boohoo I think. I've shown you so well there. Really good camera work, well done. Right, we are back from the school run. You've got your dramas on, haven't you? Because it's, it's not nice out there, is it? It's raining. <sighs> and we're going to make some custard twists, aren't we? This won't take us very long to make. We literally we need, need to, to roll. Well, we don't even need to roll it out. Ooh, I can feel it. Well, I've got dope. That's the paper. Oh, that's so we're just going to roll it out Ooh. and then we're going to put custard all over this and then chocolate drops and we're going to twist them up. It feels like the chef always needs to taste it. I'll do it quick. Can I do the milk? Sprinkle some of them on. Just gently. May I have to try one? I'll just have those if they fall. If any fall, then I'll just have them. Well, do you know how people do them like salt things? Maybe I'm gonna let this look. Yeah. Well, let me turn this. I'm gonna do it. Look. Perfection. Googly eyes. Oh, it. gonna make some pizza pinwheels with this. You all done with that chocolate there? <laughs> things ever that all went a little bit wrong I know what to do next time but I'm definitely going to give these another go I put too much filling in they're too chunky I didn't wrap them up tight enough I get it now but they will still be delicious the pizza so when I was filming before the camera battery cut out I'm not even going to discuss what happened with that pizza the pizza rolls it's all gone wrong it wouldn't come off the non-stick non-stick paper is still in the oven it's not looking pretty but these are <laughs> these are these the kids are still gonna love them so um it's all good i put some ice and sugar on them just to try and hide how ugly they are but not the look i was going for but we will try it again and get it right hello so it's a lot later now a couple of hours later probably i'm in my pajamas now we're just um getting settled down for the evening the boys are gonna have hot chocolate well toby uh, no toby won't have one archie and dylan are gonna have a hot chocolate because i 
popped into B&M earlier and I got some, not much, but I got a few bits, including these hot chocolate bombs, um, these Halloween ones. So they're gonna have one of those. Um, I've got an eyeball one. I think they've got, yeah, they've got marshmallows in. And then I've also got a pumpkin one. So I'm gonna do them some hot milk and they can have one of them each. I don't have any cream though, but that'll be fine. Um, I also got some cushion fillers. I don't, <laughs> probably shouldn't be buying any more cushions but I did buy two cushion covers from Timu and I want to use them I didn't have any cushions that they would fit so I just got a couple of these from B&M which were three pound each um I also just got some sweet chili sunbite crisps because I love them um I got another one of these as well because I've got one these match jars I just want to put one upstairs because just much more convenient. I'm lighting candles like all the time. I'm gonna go around and light all my candles in a minute actually. Um, I'm just loving having a scented candle and having the house smell beautiful and autumn-y. I also got a big fabric softener and then just some of these flash speed mops. But yeah, that's about it. Not a big haul or anything like that. I didn't see much new to be honest. They're obviously getting the Christmas stuff in but I'm not buying any of that yet. So yeah, I'm gonna make the boys some hot milk. Um, and then they can put their little bombs in them to make a hot chocolate. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Nice and hot. Ooh. <laughs> well, I would just wait. They always, I always Whoa. think they're going to do like a dramatic melting Wait, thing. Mum, look. Really. Mum, okay. look, Mum. Look at this. Is it it's going? Like, all, like, all the green is like going out. Oh. Can I just have a sip of milk? Yeah. With a floating pumpkin. It's got marshmallows inside it, Dilly. The bucket. Yeah. Mine? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. There it goes. It's starting to melt. You might want to get a spoon. Whoa, well, Mum, look at this colour. Ooh. I'm going to get a spoon and start stirring it. Mm -hmm. I'll like, do a little crack. It is open. I repeat. Ooh. It's already just rolled. Ooh, it tastes minty. Kind of. Mm -hmm. Not really. It's just melty. Oh, no. Nice. Hi, I'm back the next day so I didn't pick up the camera again last night which is what always happens when I do these these like days is I'm like picking the camera on and not like picking it up doing a bit of filming and then I go off and do something and then sort of forget where I am so I apologize if it was a little bit of a random all over the place vlog um, but that was just like a typical day like it's not very exciting so I do hope that you know you enjoyed it um even though it's not like i'm off doing much exciting at all um i am going to end the video here though i think because i'm not doing anything exciting today it is chucking it down and it's windy so yeah i'm not gonna film we're just gonna stay in and eat a lot of food i think that's my plan today. I hope you enjoyed it though. Please do give it a big thumbs up if you did. And I would absolutely love to see you again for my next one. Bye everyone.